How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. After four months of work on this building and or in Lego series, we are here at the finale. We did it. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! No! We did it! <laughs> How did we do it? I don't have no idea. I don't understand. I appreciate everyone who has been watching these videos. It makes me happy how well received this series has been so far. I've been busy recently and I wasn't able to get this video out as quickly as I initially wanted. I also wanted to spend time on this mock and make sure it didn't look rushed and that it was an epic finale for you all. We're traveling back to Ferex for mock number 12. This mock is obviously based on episode 12 of Andor, specifically the riot that takes place on Ferex right after Marva's inspirational speech where she tells everyone to fight the Empire. Here are some sketches I drew up while watching a lot of the scenes on Ferex. I did a lot of research for this mock by analyzing all the different styles of architecture and designs they came up with for the town. The mock will be two and a half times the size of most of the other mocks in this series. I knew I for sure needed to build the hotel that the Empire uses as their home base while they took over the city looking for Cassian. The hotel features some really interesting architecture that would not be easy to achieve with Lego pieces, so this is what I was most nervous about building. The mock will be four buildings in total that make up Rick's Road. The hotel will be on the left side of the mock, and I drew up a couple other structures that will fill up the rest of the space. Alright, enough talking, let's get to building. Here we go. I started by cleaning off my desk and grabbing some 8x16 and 16x16 plates for the base. I then connect all of the plates with some 2x4 bricks. Again, this mock is about 2.5 times the size of the other ones in the series. I ended up extending the base just a little bit more by 6 studs. I then filled in some more gaps with filler brick. Now that the base is a little more stable, I started working on the black border. Again, this is the same border design I've used throughout this series. It is just made with black bricks and plates and some black tiles on the outside layer of studs. I then added more filler brick around the mock. I'm really trying to fill up all the empty space since I will eventually plate and tile everything off and I don't want massive gaps for that. I was running low on filler brick so I grabbed some of my Duplo because I felt like they would be a better option. They fill up way more space and work with system Lego. I arranged all of the Duplo bricks I could find to fill up the rest of the major gaps. Next it was time to build the hotel. This again is what I was most nervous for because this part of the mock needed to be perfect. To me this is the main iconography of Ferex and the most notable structure we see. I started by roughly laying down some bricks trying to figure out how big I wanted to make it. There are three angled columns near the bottom with rounded archways behind them. I did have to make the rounded archways a little smaller than a more accurate design just because of the lack of space. I then roughly began mapping out where I wanted the other three buildings to go. Now that I knew exactly where I wanted the hotel to be, I started building all three columns. I struggled with what color to make it, but decided on using tan versus a dark tan. Because I have a lot more tan bricks, so I felt like I could make it more accurate and not make as many sacrifices while designing it. After that, I needed to build up the rest of the floor. I added more Duplo bricks and regular system bricks onto those, so I could begin plating everything off and I could begin building the other structures. I used reddish brown, dark red, and dark brown for the ground that will be seen in the end. Now that the majority of the mock was plated off, I started permanently placing down the archways and columns for the hotel. The columns were made with some tan snot bricks, regular tan bricks and plates, and some dark bluish gray cheese slopes stacked on the angle. I really love how it isn't a perfectly smooth angle, and that a tiny bit of cheese slope sticks out so you get little bumps. It really matches what we see in the show. Probably the hardest part of the hotel was this rounded wall that sticks out over the right side. I used some hinge bricks which I rarely ever use in mocks, but I will definitely use a lot more now because they were super useful in getting this round shape. I then used snot bricks as well so I could add more plates and tiles to it. It ended up not being as complicated as I initially thought it would be. Thanks hinge bricks. Another big part of the hotel design were these rounded balconies. I decided on using the round 4x4 bricks for the main shape. 
They also made it easy to incorporate it into the wall of the hotel. I then used snot bricks and some angled bricks to get this rounded window. I was really excited about how this technique ended up looking. I also added some little lights to the column walls. My cat Suki really wanted some attention, so I took a small break to give her some pets before working more in the Ferrex Hotel. I added a second balcony, which is the exact same design as the first one, and built up more of the rounded wall on the right. I'm so happy with how it's looking so far. I really needed to just trust the process here. I now need to build up the back so it'll be more structurally sound. Now that the back was built up more, I then wanted to finish this rounded wall by adding a couple windows to it. I also added some light bluish gray piping to the lower wall, some black and white antennas to the balconies, and finished the two gray balcony doors. The hotel is 85% done now, so I want to move on to the second building. This building has dark tan angled archways on the bottom floor. This building was a lot easier than the hotel, but I didn't do the best job taking videos of this build process. The middle and the far right entrance have some stools up against a little bar, and the left entrance has a communication device. I then started working on the second floor using tan bricks. There will be a small balcony where some imperial officers will be standing. I did use some medium nougat to break up the tan, and then added a roof to it using some rounded gray bricks. I wasn't quite as happy with this building as the hotel. I do end up making some small changes to this one throughout the build process. It was time to begin working on the third building. I used some columns I kept from an earlier mock in the series. This building's main color scheme will be medium nougat, dark tan, and dark red. The bottom of it will be a small tech store with lots of details and accessories. It will also have another balcony above it and a smaller building behind the balcony. I went back to the second structure and updated the roof design. I like it a lot better now. I also added some antennas to it and the hotel. I then had the idea of adding these dark tan panels to the balcony to give it some more texture and depth. I also updated these lights and stools and finalized the design for this communication box. Here's a rough idea of what this interior will look like. It features these panel pieces as little shelves. This is one of the only buildings that will feature an interior. I worked on the top floor of this building off screen, and so far it's looking pretty good. I like the railing design and the window and the door. I went back to the hotel once more to finish the roof. I started by adding a little holding cell for Bix, and then plating off the top of the hotel. I used the bridge for my Coruscant mock as part of the roof. I really like reusing techniques like this when doing these series. It's a good way to make all the mocks look cohesive. I then added some piping detail and some sci-fi looking smokestacks. I doubt Star Wars has smokestacks, but I don't know. I don't know what would come out of these. Steam? Maybe they're generators, I don't know. Next was finally time to begin working on the fourth building. This one's color scheme would be dark tan, dark bluish gray, and sand green. I was excited to incorporate some more color with the sand green to this building. The first floor would have three dark bluish gray columns, and dark tan would be a stud behind that. I added a sand green vending machine and two sand green electrical boxes. I then built up some of the walls using some large panels. Again, I'm not worried about how the back of this mock looks or some of the other angles because in the final pictures, you won't be able to see all the ugly looking stuff. I worked some more on finishing the roof of the third building. I used snot brick and rounded dark bluish gray bricks for the roof. I then plated off the fourth building and added some supports to the back to hold up the second floor. I added a sand green railing to match the other sand green details. I really wanted to use some dark orange in this mock so I decided to make this fourth building's second floor using mostly dark orange. I don't get to use this color very often so I was pretty excited about it.
In professional kitchens, most chefs enforce the clean-as-you-go rule, which prevents messes from building and removes clutter, which can distract even the most efficient chefs as they cook. I'm all about efficiency, so I like to enforce this as I build, so I needed to take a break to clean up my space and put some of my parts away so I could get a fresh start. It was finally time to begin finishing the ground. I got together every reddish brown tile and rounded tile I could find and began tiling it all off. I grabbed a cup of coffee and my favorite mug before finishing the rest of the ground. I used some other colors to represent vibrant tiles that would maybe be around Ferrex. I did this mostly because I didn't have enough brown tiles and I thought the mock could use a little more color. Hopefully it looks alright in the end. Lastly I added all the minifigures and other details and accessories. I again just want to say thank you to everyone who has been watching this series. I received a lot of nice comments and messages, and it made me very happy how much people enjoyed the mocks, and that people were inspired by them. Now that the mock is done, I take pictures in my lightbox and edit them in Photoshop. Alright, let's see mock number 12. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. 